What's going on everybody, Damo Senpai here. And I wrote a script for this video about a month or two ago and did absolutely nothing with it. But since this is the 28 days of Damo Senpai, I decided that it was high time I actually talked about this. I feel like with Kagurabachi being on a historic run and the emergence of Ichi the Witch and Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi, this is the new golden age of Shonen Jump. As we all know, Jump is the birthplace of quite a few legendary series. From the explosive battles of Dragon Ball to the pirate adventure of one piece and the gutsy tales of a ninja named naruto you know what i wanted to say but i didn't say it but now since we moved past jujutsu kaisen and my hero academia a new era of manga has emerged and in my opinion the three that will lead this charge are the ones that i mentioned previously and of course we start off with jumps rising star kagurabachi Kagurabachi has taken the world by storm. The manga that was once heralded as just a meme has become a household name. I made countless videos on Bachi, by the way, but due to Shueisha being a bunch of old b I was forced to stop. At its core, it fuses traditional battle shonen tropes with the fresh twist being the revenge aspect. With Shihiro leading the way, we not only witness amazing fights, but the evolution of a character that was at one time only driven by vengeance. One of the questions that a lot of idiots on Twitter have asked me is why is Kagurabachi even hitting so well in the first place? If you really want to know, it has to do with how layered the storytelling and art are. Takeru Hokozono managed to bring a new touch to combat choreography and a complex narrative that reminds me a lot of Bleach and Rurouni Kenshin. I've also highlighted in a previous video about how Kagurabachi was influenced by a lot of 90s cult classics, but y'all could go watch that video for a lengthier explanation. It'll be in like the top right corner or something like that. But beyond just that, it's the emotional depth and struggle for justice that sets it apart from its competition. Even with the most recent reveal of Samura, and I won't say too much, you know, not to spoil, Kagurabachi always finds a way to grab us by the balls and give us something to look forward to every Sunday. Now up next, we have Ichi the Witch. And funny enough, I literally just made a video about this maybe three or four days ago going over why everyone is talking about it. And if you're looking for a detailed explanation on that, you can click on the card that pops up in the upper right hand corner. But to summarize it, Ichi the Witch is a series that redefines traditional gender norms in the realm of magic. In a society where only women can use magic, Ichi defies all those expectations, bro. This interesting twist not only sets the stage for an amazing narrative, but it also challenges readers to rethink what the typical hero's journey is. This complexity resonates with readers who are looking for more than just the surface level plotline. The art style, being sharp yet whimsical, enhances the magical atmosphere, bringing each spell and conflict vividly to life. I really like a lot of the character dynamics that Ichi the Witch has presented, and with the level of prowess that the duo of Mangaka possess, I truly think Ichi the Witch is one of them ones. Now, on to Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi. And just like Ichi the Witch, I also made a video going over Kiyoshi and just how it is one of Jump's secret weapons. That video will also be in the card in the top right. Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi is also a manga that uses a trope that is a tale as old as time, and that is the Exorcist trope. But with Kiyoshi's unorthodox methods and his most recently revealed backstory, it breathes new life into what could easily just be another recycled trope. But what makes the series compelling in my my opinion i think the way that they blend folklore with the supernatural i'm a fan of supernatural stuff by the way makes kiyoshi feel both fresh and nostalgic the detailed art style adds a comedic texture to the already wonderfully crafted characters pulling the readers in and what keeps them around is what i consider to be its greatest strength that being how it manages to balance moments of intensity with humor and humanity so why do Kagurabachi, Ichi the Witch, and Ultimate Exorcist Kiyoshi lead the new age of Shonen Jump? It's actually quite simple when you think about it. Each of these series pushed the envelope, breaking the traditional molds, all the while still paying homage to the classics that created the path for them. Should I have used paved the way or like paved the path? I think created the path for them sounds better. They show us that the Shonen demographic can be more than just epic fights. It can be about breaking boundaries, redefining roles, and telling stories that resonate on a much deeper level. As these series continue to grow, it's clear that we are witnessing the next generation of Shonen Jump. So make sure y'all stick around because the golden age is a coming. It's already here. 
that's pretty much all I got for this topic. So if there was any information that I left out, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I've seen the complaints that y'all have been leaving, so I will make sure to fix all that as we continue on this journey with the 28 days of Damo Senpai. This has been a blast, and with only nine days left, I pray we make it without any hitches. This video might be on the shorter end, but I hope I made my point well enough. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and edit this video. Y'all have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever y'all are. I'm Damo Senpai, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.